Hey, it's Coach Cliff with Northern Lights Swim Club, and this is your daily swimcast for August 13th, 2024. Well, it's our aerobic based training season, basically, so we're going to get started right away with a nice aerobic warm up. We've got two 200s and a 400, 200 back, 200 breast and a 400 free. We're going to swim these straight through. There are intervals down on, on the workout here, but when you're looking at it, just think of a nice continuous swim here. Uh, on our backstroke, I want to make sure that we're getting good vertical body roll, that we're not reaching too far back for that catch, that we're actually rolling into our catch. And then for our breaststroke, I want to make sure that we're working on what we worked on yesterday, which was working on our body line. We want to make sure that our head is down between our arms so that our body can re, uh, achieve a nice horizontal uh, position and maximize its efficiency. Then we've got a 400 freestyle. And I just want you to focus on breathing every third stroke on this. Let's keep it simple. Next, it's turn time. Specifically, we're going to be working on breaststroke turns today. Uh, there's a lot going on in a breaststroke turn. It's an open turn. And when we exit the wall, we've got plenty of things to think about, including a single dolphin kick, uh, getting the timing between our pull down and our kick and our arm recovery all down and making sure that we're not gliding so long underwater that we're actually coming to a stop when we recover our arms. So we want to make sure that we're getting this all right. And for a lot of our swimmers, this is a pretty new skill. So we're going to make sure that we're spending some time making sure that we alleviate any sort of confusion on our breaststroke turns and pull downs. <laughs> We're going to do this next set a couple of times today. So we've got 1025's technique fly sprint. Specifically, we're going to be working on our hip speed. I'm going to pull some of our more experienced swimmers out and have them demonstrate this technique to you uh, so you can really see what we're focusing on. Instead of focusing on how fast our hands are going and how fast our feet are moving, we're going to focus on how quickly our hips are moving uh, since all the power comes from our core anyway and then radiates out to our hands and feet. So we, we're going to focus on uh, really, really fast hips. I want to see a pop up and a pop back down with those hips. And if we're only going one way, we're losing some power on that. Uh, then we're going to go into a set of 2050s dolphin kick on your back streamline. This is more of an aerobics set here, and we'll adjust intervals as needed as we move through um, this set. But our faster lanes are going to do these on the 105 and just keep these crews. And then we're going to come back again and repeat those 1025s uh, sprint fly techniques. So we're really working our hips on those 1025s, 2050s, 1025s. So we're going to finish up practice today with a 1,000 freestyle. We might not all get a 1,000 in, but the faster swimmers should be able to squeeze that in there. Um, it's a nice cruise swim. So remember when we're doing this, we're trying to get the benefits of aerobic training, which include increasing the number of mitochondria in ourselves. Those movements are specific. So if we want our freestyle to have more energy, more ability to create energy while we're swimming, we want to make sure that we are uh, doing freestyle. It's not going to help us if we're outside jogging all the time. Uh, to, that's not necessarily going to help our freestyle. Freestyle helps our freestyle. So we're going to do some specific aerobic swimming here. It'll help our freestyle muscles and generally make us a little bit tougher. A lot of our swimmers are not used to doing a long swim like this, so this will be something new for them. I'll see you at the pool. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the swimcast. Please click like and then subscribe. I'll see you at the pool.